Hello, very good morning to you. There will be a few showers around today, but for many it is going to be drier than it was yesterday, particularly across central and southern England and Wales, where we had quite a bit of rain around. That was in association with an area of low pressure that is now drifting away towards the west, with something a bit quieter following behind. But there is a trailing front that's leading to some thicker cloud first thing across parts of northern England, southern Scotland, northern Wales, and this is leading to a few outbreaks of rain. But a lot of that cloud is going to break up as we head into the afternoon. Afternoon. So some bright or sunny skies developing here and elsewhere, some sunshine to be had. Yes, some showers, like I said, some of them could be a little bit on the heavy side, possibly even the odd rumble of thunder, but they are going to be fairly scattered, quite hit and miss. So many of us are actually going to avoid them. Where you see some decent sunshine, it should feel pretty warm. Temperatures for most of us likely to be up a few degrees compared to yesterday, widely high teens or low 20s. Across parts of Scotland may get to 22, 23, though that is a few degrees lower than it was yesterday. As we go through the end of the day, we're going to continue to see a few showers for a time, but most of the showers will actually ease and clear away as we go through the night. So mostly dry again for many of us. There will be some murkiness, some low cloud drifting in from the east. Further west, a greater chance of seeing some clear skies, but again, it's not going to turn particularly chilly. Temperatures for many of us holding up in high single figures or low double digits. Early on tomorrow morning, we are going to have some heavy showery rain affecting parts of the southeast, and this is going to spread westwards across southern parts as we go through the morning. Could be pretty torrential at times, could cause some localized issues before breaking up as we go into the afternoon to something a bit more showery. And even elsewhere, a fair few showers are quite likely, particularly across western parts, and some of these could be heavy, possibly even thundery. Further east, a greater chance of having a largely dry afternoon and some decent sunshine breaking through once the early low cloud has started to clear away. That being said, some North Sea coastal parts may cling on to some of that low cloud, some murkiness, and with a bit of an onshore breeze here, temperatures will be somewhat pegged back. Elsewhere, temperatures, whilst not quite as high as today, perhaps still above average for the time of year, where you get any decent sunshine, it is going to feel pretty warm. If we look ahead to Sunday quickly, and for many, it's going to be a mostly fine day. Towards the east, some thicker cloud to start off with, some murkiness, but particularly across England, most of this is actually going to clear away, so increasingly sunny as we go into the afternoon. Further north, a slightly different story across much of Scotland, probably going to cling on to quite a bit of that cloud through much of the day, and here, a good chance of catching some showers at times, perhaps some brighter, sunnier skies towards more western parts of Scotland. Elsewhere, a few showers are possible, but I'm not expecting as many showers as on Saturday, and they shouldn't be as intense, as frequent, or likely to be as thundery either. Either. The temperatures, again, with some decent sunshine, are going to be a little bit on the high side. In fact, across England and Wales, with a bit more sunshine on Sunday, could be a touch higher than on Saturday. But further north for Scotland, with that cloud lingering, temperatures will be pegged back just that little bit compared to earlier on in the weekend. Now, whatever you're up to this weekend, make sure you stay up to date with the forecast by subscribing to our YouTube channel. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.